Hey guys, this is D Flash, and we're back with another video. This week we're going to take a look at Frequency Shifter and how we can use it on some of our audio to create interesting effects. So what I did was I dragged it on this track that has a 303 loop on it. We're going to turn it off so you can just hear it right now. That's pretty much it. Now we're going to put on the Frequency Shifter. And we're going to play around with some of the effects. Okay, so what Frequency Shifter does is it takes your incoming audio and shifts it up by whatever frequency you specify. So you have your coarse amounts, then you have your fine amounts, and then you have, you can go into two different modes. You can go into shift mode, which uh, shifts the frequencies by your amounts that you specify. Then you have your ring mode, which not only shifts them up, but also will subtract from the amount you specify. So you have two signals coming out. And then in ring mode, you also have your drive, which adds a little bit of analog style distortion. And you have your mix, that is your dry wet knob. And then it's called dry wet on shift, and it's called mix on ring. So if you bring this all the way down to zero, you can actually just add some um, distortion without shifting. So we're just I'll just turn this back on so you can hear a little bit of what's going on. Okay, so this is with just some drive added to it. So now, not only did it add at 4 hertz, but it's also removing at 4 hertz. And that's why you get that kind of tremolo type of sound. And that actually causes, when we hit wide, it actually causes you to have two signals. So it, it spreads it out. It actually inverts the polarity for the right channel. Now we'll put back in shift mode. And you hear how it turned off the drive. We'll bring this up just a few. And then we also have an LFO. And what that does is it modulates it based on the amount that you set. And you have all your different shapes. So you have your sine, sine wave, square, triangle, sawtooth up and sawtooth down, and random. Your rate, you can either set it to an oscillator or you can set it to uh, beat synced. And then 
phase actually controls each channel's LFO, so you can set them out of phase from each other, which ends up widening the sound a bit. And offset works similarly. Now we'll bring everything back in so you can hear it in a mix. pretty much frequency shifter. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on our next one where we go over gate. And thanks for checking out the video.